In April, my CTR went significantly higher than usual, which means that pe more people were clicking on my YouTube thumbnails in this month. And I made a small tweak in my thumbnail strategy, which I wanna share with you today that led to a higher click-through rate on my YouTube thumbnails. So, are you ready? Hey Go-Getter, it's Salma Jafri. I'm the founder of YouTube Launchpad, which is the foundational course for growing your personal brand with video. If you want to increase your visibility, your credibility, and your profitability using YouTube, then be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon, and let's begin. Now, YouTube thumbnails are a great way to get more clicks on your videos, so you definitely wanna pay attention to how much time and effort you put into creating your YouTube thumbnails. In this video, I wanna show you the simple tweak that I make, and I also wanna to show you how to use a free software called Snapseed, which is available on both Android and iOS devices that you can use to make this simple tweak with. Now, there are a few steps to follow in this process, and let me take you through those steps. Step number one is that you need to really know what your thumbnail pose is gonna be. So you need to visualize your thumbnail before you actually make the thumbnail. So what I like to do is take a few different pictures and make a few different expressions and poses for thumbnails. So that gives me a variety of content to work with. The second thing that I like to do is to plan out my thumbnails using my video content plan. So I have this Excel or this Google spreadsheet, if you want to call it, and inside that, I try and think, okay, what is the title of this video going to be? What is the thumbnail text going to be? And what is the thumbnail visual going to be? Now, typically, if I can do this planning before I actually shoot the video, it helps clarify the visual associations and concepts in my mind. So I already know what text I want to be putting on that thumbnail if any at all. So that really helps in the planning process while you're taking those poses. You kind of know what expressions you want to be making that match that text and that title. Step number three is where the tweak comes in. So for this, we're going to use Snapseed. Snapseed is a free software. I'm going to load it up right now. And you want to choose one of the thumbnails that you posed for, okay? All right, so let's say I'm going to choose this thumbnail that I posed for. And you can use, uh, you can remove the background if you want to using remove.bg and then do this processing. Or if you're okay with using the background, then you can skip that step. So in this case, I'm gonna stick with this background. And one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm gonna focus on my face. Now, YouTube thumbnails perform the best when people can have that direct eye contact with your eyes, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the eyes. So I'm gonna enlarge this picture so I can really see my expression here. And I'm going to go into tools and I'm gonna click on head pose, and I'm going to slightly focus uh, by increasing the size of my pupils. Now, I'm just going to slightly do this, so it's not going to look too weird. So I'm going to just move the slider, and you can see the pupil size going up. So we're going to just do this about halfway through, so around 50 or so, okay? So that's the first little tweak, and these little tweaks really add up. So I'm going to click check. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to add a spotlight on my face, so the background is there, but it's not the focal point. So I want people to focus on the expression on my face. So I'm gonna go again into tools and I'm gonna click on portrait. And then I'm gonna choose spotlight two. And then you can customize it by adding pale, fair, medium, or dark. But I'm actually just gonna choose the regular one. So I'm gonna go here again and do this. Um, portrait, spotlight two, and that, if you can see this, it just immediately puts the focus on my face. Now, if you have a particular object that you want to showcase, maybe a, a, something that you cooked or something that you sewed, so you want to make sure that you put the spotlight on that thing, right? Now, it, this is for face, so if it's an object, I'll show you another way to do it. So I'm going to click check here. So the other way to do it is to go to, it's more of a manual way. You want to go again to tools and you want to click on brush. Okay. And then here you want to click on exposure to add a spotlight and click on exposure. And then it says 0 0.7 here. So you can move this all the way up to one. And then you can sort of with your finger brush on wherever you want the spotlight to be. So let's say I want it to be on my laptop, which is right there in the corner. So I'm actually going to just brush 
right there like that. So you see, there's a little bit too much and it looks a bit weird. So you wanna maybe uh, come down from one, do 0 0.3 or 0 0.7. So you wanna just play around with this a little bit. So I'm gonna X out of here, but that is really the way to manually add a little bit of spotlight or exposure. The other thing I wanna do is brighten up this picture as a whole. So right now the purple looks really, really dark, almost looks black. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna go again to tools and I'm gonna go on curves. So using curves, I can just sort of move this around and change the tone of the entire picture, right? So what I wanna do is add just a little bit of brightness around there and then click check. And then the other thing I wanna do next is go to tools, go to tune image, and I wanna click this little slider icon here. And then I wanna go to ambiance and I wanna bring the slider up for ambiance a little bit higher. So you can see that now everything is looking really nice and sharp and in focus. And the other thing I wanna do is add a little bit more contrast so that um, things are a little bit more in focus and a little bit more clear. So these are the tweaks that I would make. The last one that I would probably do is crop the picture. Now I can do this in Canva when I'm making the thumbnail and adding text to it, or I can do it in Snapseed. So the typical crop for this picture would be that I want um, my face, shoulders, expression to be the focal point, right? So I'm gonna crop it to make that the focal point. So let's go on tools and click crop. This does not need to be square because this is not Instagram, it's YouTube. So I'm actually going to go to um, free and I'm going to crop this according to what I think should be the frame. So I'm going to probably go a little bit above my head. So just like a, like a, maybe like a palm space, like a four finger space above my head. And then I'm going to leave a little bit more room on one side because I wanna put text there and less room on the other side, right? And then click um, check. And so this is now going to be the frame that I'm going to use to make my thumbnail. So let me show you what the actual thumbnail looks like once I'm done. So you can export this and you can click on export and it'll create a copy of all the changes that you made in this photo and you can save it to your camera roll. And then typically what I would do is upload this picture to Canva and then start adding text and everything to that. Okay, so this is what the final thumbnail looks like. You can see that I've added some text and this is the crop that I've used. And I've added in the YouTube icon and added in ideas are everywhere, 40 plus ideas inside. And then this becomes the thumbnail that I use. And so a little tweak like this really makes the thumbnail pop. So my question for you today is how long do you typically take while making thumbnails? Do you spend a minute? Is it an afterthought or do you spend some time, maybe 20 to 30 minutes on thinking about what your thumbnail is gonna be? Let me know in the comments below. And the next thing that I want you to do is watch my custom YouTube thumbnail tutorial right here, which gives you a step-by-step -step process on how I make thumbnails. And of course, go and download Snapseed. I'll put in the link to Snapseed down below as well. So you can start creating wow factor poppy thumbnails for your YouTube channel.